And this world. is where I don't like a you anymore. Culture. I came here today thinking me and you were similar. But sitting around this table, I know that me and you are so worlds apart. One Bryce Palmer! You're a bum from Alabama who's getting real. knocked out. I don't know when it's going to come, but it's going to come. Skinny it's little be that bad moment. You're a basketball Remember, player. Came into boxing right. at 21 you're years old. Right. I've been doing I'm this all my life. I beat men like you I'm seven better, days I'm a week. It's on. It's the one we've been waiting for. And two of the most controversial, outspoken fighters in the world today. And this promises to be a great heavyweight title fight. We've got the WBC heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder, and the lineal champion, Tyson Fury. And it's one which will set pulses racing across the world. Both guys here now, face to face. How does it feel looking across the table? and seeing him. It feels damn good, if I may say that. It feels real good. That's my emotions, that's my feelings, because men and this man have a lot of history together, you know? You know? And it's been going on ever since before we was champions. And to finally be able to have this moment right now, to share the ring with him right now, it means a lot, you know? It's the right time. Back then, you know, look up on today, looking back, it maybe wasn't the right time. But right now, it's the right time, and uh, I can't wait. And Tyson, when you look across the table and see him, what emotions do you feel? I feel as if, like he said, it's our right time to fight, you know. We're both world heavyweight champions. I'm unbeaten, he's unbeaten. He's 40 now, I'm 27 and 0. And the most important thing is we're both willing to put it all on the line against each other. I'm not holding back anything. There is no secrets. It's straight there. This fight was seemed relatively easy to make. Is that because you both wanted it? Oh, most definitely, hands down. You know, when two champions want to fight, they're going to fight. No one's going to get in their way. No one's going to hold them back. When a guy don't want to fight, that's when you start seeing different things starting to shift, starting to change, it's different tones in, the, in, the, in, the, in their voices, the, the, the action. It shows. So who's the number one as we go into this? That's the belt that you're fighting for. That belongs to him. But do you go into this thinking you're number one? Listen, I'm going into this as a, as a challenger, as someone who's trying to fulfill a childhood dream of winning every belt in the heavyweight division. He's the champion. He's WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I've been a champion before of four or five different um, organisations. I'm still a lineal heavyweight champion of the world, but the way I go into this fight is Deontay Wilder's a champion and I'm going to East Backyard to take it off him. And that's the way I want to look at it in my mind. Do you regard yourself as the world's number one heavyweight? I'm the baddest man on the planet. It don't get no better than me. Tyson, when you look into this guy's eyes, do you look across the table and think that is the baddest man on the planet? If he says he's the baddest one on the planet, then I can't disagree with him because I can't see inside of his mind. And if he believes he's the baddest man on the planet, then he will be the baddest man on the planet. I need somebody of his level and calibre and danger to bring the best out of me. You know, I can beat world top five, top three, top two fighters in fifth gear without even trying, basically, by slipping and sliding and defending. But I need the extra challenge and the motivation of one punch and it's over to bring the best Tyson Fury out. What's his weaknesses as a fighter? I don't know yet. But when, we get, when I get in the ring with him, I'm looking to explore that. You know, there's so many things that you can say looking on the outside of the ring as a fighter, as they're fighting up on competition. But you know that's not you. You know that's not your style. I bring a different vibe to the ring. So 
when I step in the ring, or when we both step in the ring, it's gonna be, you, you're gonna see the best of both of us. We're gonna bring the best out of both of us. And this is what's buzzing about. This is what happens when the best fight the best. You feel the intention in the air. When people stand around us, they get nervous already. <laughs> because this fight, this fight right here brings that energy to people. This is one of the best fights in the world. If not the best in the world, it demands respect. And how much do you look forward to the opportunity of putting it on him? There comes a point in every great fighter's life where they have to meet someone who's going to cement their legacy when they're gone. You know, people will be talking about me and Deontay Wilder in a long time to come. And they'll say, you know what, they're, they're both of them guys really stood up to the task and fought each other when they were in their primes. I'm not waiting for Deontay to get to 38 and he ain't waiting for me to get there. We're, we're active now and are the best of our careers. You know, I'm look, just looking forward to an excellent fight. I know what he's going to bring. He's going to bring ferocity and power. And I'm going to bring skill and technique. You know, I'm not saying he can't box, but he shouldn't think I can't punch neither. Because so many times people have made the mistake of thinking, oh, he's a light puncher or whatever. Then if that was the case, why didn't Vladimir walk right through me and hit me with that big steel hammer he possesses? And everybody else over the years, I don't punch as lightly as you think. One, one hit of heavyweight and it's over. Some punch harder than others, some have one punch knockout power. Some people take two or three punches to do the damage. But um, it's not about who can punch the hardest in the heavyweight division. Not at all, because every man who weighs over 200 pounds can punch hard. You know, my daughter's eight years old, and if she punched me in the face, I know I've been hit off her, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you don't want a big heavyweight puncher in the face, no matter if he's rated to be a puncher or not. And believe it or not, the people who's always been the ones who's supposed to be the knockout artists who have fought, I never really ever got hurt off them, but the ones who had no punch records at all, they're the ones who had me down twice. Maybe underestimated them. Underestimated them, the power. So this is what I'm saying for him not to do, is don't underestimate any, anything at any given moment. It can be over in the flash. So one you don't see coming, that does the damage. And that, for me, that's what I'll be looking to do to you. Sneak one in round the corner where you don't see. Little feints. Things that heavyweights from today don't do and that you've never faced before is footwork. Because there isn't anyone who practices footwork like me. Feints, sweet science. And that's what I'll bring to, to you. And the fact that I've chosen you, that I've had two fights coming back and I want this fight, is a statement for the world to see. Because I don't just want to be someone who's coming back to win a two-time heavyweight champion of the world. I want this to be one of the greatest comebacks in boxing history, similar to the George Foreman and, and the other great comeback fighters, Muhammad Ali and all those guys. If I can, if I can win this belt, they'll put me amongst the, the greats of the comebacks and and all the controversy and all the, the stuff that I've been through it all adds to the flavour. And uh, there's, no, there's no turning back now. This is it. Don't get scared now. <laughs> Do you get scared when you hear that? I fear no man. You know, the way I came up, the way I was raised, it allowed me not to face and to fear no man. You know, I go by faith and not by sight. I'm a very religious man. I look at Deontay, yeah, and I see a likeable, kind person. Well, like he said, he switches in the ring and he wants to do damage to you. But looking at him across this, this table, he looks, he doesn't look massive, he looks kind of skinny, he's got the athletic basketball build, come into boxing late, you know, and he's, his nickname for me gives me the psychological edge because he calls himself the bronze bomber, that means a third place man, but he has so much gold on him, so he's obviously gunning for, to be number one. So this belt's made of gold and green not bronze, so I'll be relieving you of that and I'll get you a bronze one to cover it instead on the night. They may call you the bronze bomber, but I am the furious one and you will feel the wrath of the fury when he comes to America to crack the United States, 100%. This is a fight not to be missed. This is a fight that everyone's going to want to watch. And the reason is, I'm not going to, like I said to Steve Cunningham and Nassim Richardson, I ain't coming to America to play tip-tap boxing. I'm coming here to destroy cruiserweights. And to me, you're only a few pounds over the cruiserweight limit. And when you feel 19 stone, 18 stone on the jaw, and you will feel it sooner or later, your defense is quite leaky, you throw wild punches, you're eager to land, I'll tag you, I'm gonna tag you, it's over. I want, I'm not 40 years old like Lewis Ortiz. When I get you going, I will jump on you and I'll get you out of there for sure. And when you start swinging, that's welcome to my world, Christmas come early. Then big swings, 
I've got the Floyd May of a heavyweight defence. No one can land a swing on me. Nobody from any direction, up, coming round the corner, I see them all coming. So unless you're going to bring something I ain't seen before, which is very unlikely because I've watched all your flights and I know what you do, you look for them big wild punches, then you can't beat me. You haven't got a prayer, really. I can be as sit here and be as humble as I want, but I know for a fact deep down in my soul, it's written in the stars for me to come back and wipe you out in style in America, live on Showtime and live on BT Sport. And everyone's going to say, how did he do that? And I'm going to say, you know what? I told you so. I'm back. What do you say to that, Deontay? You know, it's going to be a big task to get in this belt. To step up to the, to, the, to the opportunity, I salute you and I respect you for that. But it's not going to be easy, Tyson. I can like you and I can say I can love you as a man to look in your eyes and really genuinely mean that. But when that night of that fight comes, you're not going to be talking to Deontay Wilder. You're not going to be looking in the eyes of Deontay Wilder. Who am I going to be looking in the you're eyes of? You're going to be looking in the eyes of the bronze bomber. You're going to feel him as well, too, just like the feeling that you feel him now. Is just that to, like an alter ego or something? Or is it a... a is a, it well alive? Is it like a spirit it, that comes into you, or what is it? A, I mean, it can be an alter, it, it can be an alter ego. It can, it can be a spirit, I, I, you know. It may be an ancestry spirit. Who knows? I'm part of Nigerian I don't, as well, I don't too. believe in all that stuff at well, all. I do. Because That's Jesus the... Christ is my saviour, and I don't believe in all spirits and alter egos. And even mentioning stuff like that on TV, you're getting it. And, and, Honestly. And that's the... That's the difference if God is with me, me and you. nobody can be against me. And if you're entering spirits and stuff into your body, you can't win. You've already lost. You can't beat me. I sit here today as a sincere man who tells the truth and hides nothing behind no curtains. I'm beating you. One million percent. I've not got no doubt. Even after all the time off, you cannot beat me. When you look at me, I'm not lying. I'm not just doing it for the cameras or whatever. I know deep in my heart you can't beat me. I know no one can. I'll retire unbeaten heavyweight champion of the world, like Rocky Marciano, the second man to do it in history. You can't beat me, and ten more like you can't beat me. I have something that goes back in history, hundreds of years, right here, the lineership at the heavyweight division. And I know for a fact you can't take it from me. I just know. It's not what you do great, what you do wrong. I know deep in my heart I can beat you. Or else I wouldn't have took this fight and have opted for an easier fight. See, the difference between me and you you got your, your mind, you explore it narrowly. I'm an open-minded person. What you believe in, I may not believe in. What I believe in, you may not believe in. That's just the case that you just showed to me. 100%. But that's the thing about it. Just like I feel like I'm a better fighter, you may feel like you're a better fighter than me. I don't feel it. You say you know it. I know it. And then on that date, you're going to have to show it. I will show and it. And that's the thing about it. See, it's good to talk. It's good to show emotion. It's good to have... You know, show expression about it. To show how passionate you are about it. That's the easy part. That's just like a fan on the outside looking in, trying to tell you to throw a punch and throw, throw combinations. Some that they see, you may, it may not be that. But it's going to be a point of time that you're going to have to prove and you're going to have to show the world everything you said. That's why you have to be careful because your words are powerful. What you say out into the universe, it will manifest. What you say will come to pass, but how, you, how, how it comes, you never know. This is not your time. Your it's time my may, time. Your time may come, but this is not your time. You may think it's your time. You may feel like it's your time, but it's not your time, Tyson. This is my time. Definitely And it not. will forever be my time until I retire. I'm sorry to tell you that because I speak it, believe it, receive it, speak it, believe it, receive it, speak it, believe it, receive it. And it's mine. Let me tell you, all that stuff you just said, you're already beat. Believe it. Anyone who has to have Believe an alter ego it. and not be themselves in there real. and trying to get in someone's mind like it that, is. I'm not you trying to can't get in beat mind. me. It's and if I'm not illusion. talking to Deontay Wilder, let me talk to the other person you inside you, the bronze bomber. You, I'm not trying to get in You're looking mind. at a man who stands in the light. I, don't want you I to can't be beat by any alter egos. I don't want egos. you to feel me. I can't be beat. I don't want you to feel me. I've already beaten you. I've beaten you once in Dusseldorf. I'll beat you again in America. Never. Can't be done. I, I can't be never. beat. Even when you stand aside me, you feel I do the speak energy. it. I do Even feel when it. You stand aside, and I do you say it the energy. to I the know, world. Because I, I want the world beat. to know the truth. Mm -hmm. And people like you want them to know nothing. 
we, we shall you see might say God. speak it, believe it, see it, but I don't know no, what you believe in. Believe it, receive it. I don't it. I know what and you believe mine. in. You believe in something I don't. Well, that's the problem. And it, we don't I'm, believe in the same things. And we from a different And this world. is where I don't like a you anymore. Culture. I came here today thinking me and you were similar. But sitting around this table, I know that me and you are so worlds apart. Most definitely. Worlds apart. Light years. I look to nothing to come Light inside years. me and win fights. Only the power of God above. That's it. And I get the power from that. I don't get the power from anything else. I don't need a second person to come and help me. I've already beaten people like you many, many times. I bump into people like you every single day of my life. <laughs> and I give them the same answer. There's only one person. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Do you know There's what I say to you? Ask and you shall Palmer. receive. Ask and you'll There's receive. There's only one Bryce Palmer. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it. I can see the alter ego coming through. Don't you fear the You spirit? and your alter ego are a pack of bombs. Don't you fear the ancestry, the energy? I don't feel it. nothing. The ancestry, what is it? What you will. Where are you from? Where are you from? What you will. Where are you from? Who what are you? What you will. You're a bum from Alabama who's getting will. knocked out. That's it. Listen, you might be only one of the bum. They don't even say that in the US. You've copied you that from England. Your back on the ground, you heard like the fans saying there's the ground, only one Tyson Fury, you you and you liked it. So you decided to copy it. 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 Listen, I beat men like you time and time again. It's gonna go through you your have never faced like anybody like me. In the middle of the night. Doesn't matter. It's going to tingle through your hips. It does tingle. Like I've been hurt before. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about going hurt. You can't land it. You ain't got a skill to land. From your feet. You ain't got a skill to land it. You ain't never felt Definitely no power not. like mine. You never felt power. Yes, I have felt power. Like mine. You're, you're you never unique. seen power you're like a little like dust mine. in the ocean. You ain't got no power. But when you power feel in what? It. I felt the ultimate power from above me. When you feel but the power it. I'm feeling nah, for you, you is negative. You negative ain't energy. That. You ain't felt that because you're I told a you a long time ago I'm going to baptize you. Yeah, well, let's see if you can baptize me. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the spirit inside of you. 100%. I don't and want I'm gonna show you how it feels. You claim, I don't want. It's gonna be your God against my God. Time and time again. And we're gonna see, may the best man 100%. win in everything. But 100%. I guarantee you, that right there, at the end of the night, it came with me and it leaving with me. Well, I'll promise you this and I'll make a deal. After a beat, I'll give you that belt back because that belt don't mean shit to make me. Make sure you keep your, your I promises. I will win that and I'll hand it you back. Make sure you keep your because promises because I come from a place where I have unfulfilled promises. Yeah. And I've had enough of unfulfilled promises. I'll give you it back. As I told a present. my daughter when she was you one years old. You wouldn't need Sophia to leave you, would you? So I told my back. daughter when she was one years old, I looked her in the eyes and not know what the fate, my, my journey in this sport, just getting into this sport at 21 years old, I told my daughter. I looked her in the eyes. I told her that it would be a world champion. Good stuff. And Congratulations. He's going to be able to support you beyond your belief. I fulfilled that promise and I'm going to continue to do it along with the five others. You can't. You can't no me. man on earth will ever beat me, Tyson. No man on earth, I don't care if you name after the great Mike Tyson. No man's gonna beat me and I'm gonna show you. You know what you are? <laughs> a bully. Never, never I been a bully. I came here today thinking you was a, never you been was a, a decent bully. bloke. You tried bullying Billy <laughs> Joe Saunders, one of my fellow mates, yeah? And he put it straight on you, yeah? You jumped up being did a big he? heavyweight to a little man, did trying he? to bully him, saying, did you say that? He said, yeah, I did. Oh, so if boy. he says that, 11 stone man, uh, we come from the same background, what do you think I'm going to do to you? Nothing. I ain't 10 stone, Nothing. I'm 19 stone. And when, he see, you, man. and when he see me lay you out, he's going to be like, he's going to wish his lucky stars that he never got there. He gonna wish he lucky star that Deontay Wilder didn't catch him. But I had four different opportunities to do what I wanted to do to build a job. You know, my world is different than y'all world over here. What y'all do, do over here is day and job. night to my world right and what I go to, baby. You this is job, nothing compared to what I live and go through every know. day. You don't go through nothing. This is nothing over here before. where I go I'm through. I'm from a rough neighborhood. Here, it doesn't this ain't mean nothing. nothing. I nothing. am from a rough neighborhood. Being a gypsy king ain't nothing hard. compared to what a, we got. We got up. we got projects that'll take all that out. Doesn't matter. Walk through it. Doesn't matter. Walk through it. Doesn't matter. Since you the gypsy king, walk through it and see what you survive out of it. That's what I Doesn't live Doesn't matter. Through. Does not matter. This don't scare me. Nothing what over here scare me. No man matter. over here scares me. Doesn't matter. You, you don't scare win. me. You can't win. No one scares me because if I wanted to do something, Tyson, <laughs> believe me, it will be done. When you at night. Sleeping and dreaming about me. Know this. I don't know when it's gonna come, but it's gonna come. And when it comes, bam, baby, good night.
You're talking <laughs> nonsense. You say you're from the projects and all this. No, that I didn't say I was nothing. from the projects. I didn't you're claim that. Like I this. didn't claim that. It doesn't that. mean anything. I didn't claim that. If a man's been brought up hard or not, it's the drive in the individual. I wasn't brought up hard. I never had a hard life. I had brand new Mercedes as so a 16, 17 year old. You don't understand. So it. You can't to understand my in pain. Dosser. You can't understand my pain. You know, you don't live in my world. I don't you live, don't in, live your in my world. You don't live in my world. Exactly. Look at so you. So you can't understand. You're a mess. You can't understand. Guys, You've got no taste if, and no class. If, if, Look if, at this. You know, Alexander Dosser. McQueen with a hosted top with jewelry all over is a mess. Then, baby, boy, please pour more chocolate on me because I wanted to get a little messier. Yeah? Guys, we've got to leave it there. <laughs> Listen, we've knocked out. Remember this. I'll make you eat them words. I'll punish you with a job. I want you to. You'll be looking to land them big promise shots. Promise me that. Look me in I my promise eyes you. and promise me that. I swear to God. Look, don't I lie. I will give you don't the lie. best beating you've ever had I don't want no life. smirk on your face. I want you to look me in my eyes. I don't need to be that. serious because I beat men like you seven days okay. a week and twice but on a I Sunday. I am serious. You can be as serious as you want. What I say. It doesn't matter. Guys, you're getting say beat. What I mean. Men like you can't and beat men is, like me. You need alter egos this and other help. This is a special moment. I do it on my own, buddy. On this one special night, one special moment. You're a bomb, you're sir, and that's how it is. Out. And I'm knocking we you back out. out. Guys, we've got to leave End it there. We're going to find 15 out. 15 stone on the Come floor. Come on with it, baby. We've got to leave it. Come on, baby. Baptize you, I'm gonna break out with this. You've been promising, you've been promising to baptize me on, for a baby, long I'm time. Baptize. We've got to leave it there, guys. We have an exciting you know, fight for you. Out. I can barely get a word in Edgeway. We have an exciting fight coming up for you on BT Sports. I'll be there. Make sure you're there because these guys, they mean it. They mean it. Well, you better hey. But as a 15 star man get set up an 18 star, hey, he don't recover. Hey, you ain't never seen me on the ground like that. I done seen coming. I done seen. I seen I done you seen on the, the floor. Cruiserway put you on I the ground. I seen you got knocked over. I seen you knocked over your back. You had a chance. When I was never sick. mind middleweight, you can't knock me out. Myself. That's a fact. Still I know you can't knock out. me out. My power is real, baby, and you will feel. I can feel nothing. The baptism. When I look at you, I see a dust on the weak man. And that's what. And that's what I want you to feel when it's time to get in that ring. You're a so when I do knock you out, skinny it's going to be that very moment. You're a basketball Remember, player. You came into boxing right. at 21 you're year old. Right. I've been doing I'm this all my life. Of it, baby. I beat men like you I'm seven better, days I'm away. I'm agile and mobile and hostile, baby. I've got the heart of a lion. You can be as hostile as you want. I am a king, I will take baby. that and eat it. And I am a it king. I am a king. You ain't a king. I'm a king. Why does it say king? It says third place loser in your name. You see it. You're looking at king. You feel it. My name is Jinx King. You're a doctor. I believe it now and you receive it. You're my it. work, man. You work for me you now. See. You work you for me. See. Look at the way you're dressed. You're see. Look at the way I'm dressed. Well, I'm dressed like a king. You're dressed like a dosser. Really? You look yeah. like you work for the office for somebody yeah. apprentice or something. I don't know, what, I don't know what, me, where you got that belt from, for me right I'd here, take baby. it right back. Hey, I should have been in a group. You should have been a ball player. <laughs> because when you meet a real fighting man, you're going to wish you were a ball player. Well, hey. But this ain't basketball. Right. We this is fighting. I didn't choose this as a second option. Because if it were basketball, I'd have been the dunk on you. First option. Just like, I choose this because I wanted like to be Bassett, the best. I'm going to dunk on you. It. <laughs> Easy. Listen, you came here, the Brits were Easy. afraid of you, the other <laughs> didn't want to fight you, but I fight any man born from his and you're no different. And I was not going to spark out. And I was better. And that's how I was. Out. Come on, I guys. That. Yes, that's yes, kicking on the floor. I can't take. wait. Boom. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Because I see people like that's you. That's the only one, bros, mama. That's the only one, bros, mama. I'm the golden child. That's the only one, bros, mama. Tyson Fury is coming to America. And a king like me, where does he go to find a wife? Queens. And I already went to Brooklyn <laughs> to kick your ass once. You're a bum. You I work for me, Dosser. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay.